What's going on guys? So I'm actually here at DJI's Airworks. This is their annual conference, basically for business and industrial and commercial drone usage, where a bunch of experts come out here. There's a bunch of seminars, talk. Uh, a lot of it is, of course, from policymakers, uh, technology experts, everyone in the field. But DJI actually also released a couple new products, which is their Phantom 4 with the multi-spectral camera. I do want to check that out. And there's also a couple other talks here that I want to check out as well. This is actually the last day. It's actually not as busy, as well as there's a bunch of other talks here that were happening on Tuesday and Wednesday. So this is the last day of the event. It's a little, a little more calm, uh, but I do want to go around. There's a bunch of vendors, a bunch of booths out down below. I want to check those out, see if I can talk to some of the product owners here. Rick Bowman here with GPC at Airworks 2019. And uh, we brought one of our newest products that's uh, fit for the market right now, for the industrial markets and for the utility vehicle. And what we've got is a combination is, this is a complete custom product, so people are going to have to tell us what they need. Uh, we're working with um, all mo mobile video for uh, streaming and uh, communication back to headquarters, depending on the situation, fire departments, etc. Uh, this particular drawer right here uh, gives us capability to have the M210 with uh, landing gear on, battery systems, charging systems, camera systems. Uh, that's in this particular drawer. And then the bottom drawer in this situation is for the Mavic Enterprise. And we've got two Mavic Enterprise in here with batteries and all of the accessories and charging systems also. And then this is just open area that we're going to have for uh, just accessories and extra stuff that people have. Uh, the other products that we're bringing along, as usual, we've got our M210 XT which has a ton of cavities, a lot of conversion capabilities, interchangeable uh, uh, modules to go in there. Uh, we are also showing our new wheel system that snaps on, snaps off for rough terrain. And uh, this is an accessory that uh, we've just brought onto the website just lately. And so we're looking for feedback and people using this and telling us how much you're loving uh, being able to hit the trails and rough terrain and gravel and being able to use this kind of product. Um, M600 with landing gear on, not uh, the uh, M600 Pro where the landing gear is coming off, although the M600 Pro does work in this case and works very well with the landing gear on. And as you all know, the M. Uh, 600, the original is not really available anymore, so this really is an M600 Pro with landing gear on. For uh, any questions on any of the products, www.gpcinc.com, and for the real custom products, uh, please give our, our office a call and we can help you out and start working through your needs. Hello, welcome to Airworks 2019. My name is Desiree, I'm the Director of Marketing for Drone Nerds. We're here at Airworks, we're partnered with Indemnis, who is a ballistic parachute deployment system. What you see here that we have on display are gonna be three of the four products that are currently offered. So here you have the parachute that's compatible with the Inspire 2. You also have our brand new mini series that is compatible with all of the Mavic 2 series, including the Dual, the Zoom, the Enterprise, and the Pro as well as compatibility with the M200 and the 210 series. The one product that you don't see on display here is also compatible with the M600. And it's, it's a great product. We're here to promote safety when flying over, um, over individuals. So what we have here is our parachute deployment system. The LED lights are actually an indication of when the parachute is active. When, it, when the bird flies over 50 feet in altitude, so again it's not GPS based, it will change colors and let you know that it is active and ready to deploy. Here at the bottom you'll see the red cap. That's the end that the parachute is actually going to deploy from. And what we've noticed in testing is that the drone, when it's spinning out of cycle and it's sporadic, that drone may flip over and fall straight down um, top heavy. And that parachute's gonna shoot out between 170 and 180 miles an hour um, and deploy on a six foot string. We can guarantee when you're above 118 feet in altitude that there will be no entanglement as well. So what we have here is the Mavic Mini parachute. What you're gonna notice are a few things here. It's similar to a backpack-like system, so it's not going to impede with any of the sensors of any of the Mavic series, including the Enterprise series that comes with a beacon and the LED light and the strobe. So these orange legs that you see here, 
when the parachute deploys, these legs will drop down and actually stabilize and immobilize the propellers. So another key indication about the product is that you can have two options from a deployment standpoint. You can either, the parachute will either deploy automatically or manually. So we have a remote here that if you're in a runaway situation, you can simply deploy by pressing the red button. Each parachute is also equipped with sensors that are going to know if the platform has actually lost power and it will automatically deploy. And it also has sensors that are going to read if it's tilting at a certain angle, the parachute will also deploy automatically for safety reasons. So with DroneNerds.com, you can definitely find the Indemnus product available for pre-order right now. We will be shipping towards the end of the year. We're always here to promote safety and we thank you guys for checking us out at Airworks 2019. Okay, so hi, I'm Steven from Soability Technologies. Um, so, so today I wanted to showcase our solution for gas detection and mapping. So this is the hardware, uh, which is mounted on top of the aircraft and then to reduce turbulence from, from the propellers. And it actively sucks in air, analyzes the air, and then transmit the data back to the, the official DJI pilot screen. So you can actually see a little window on the pilot screens to show all the con gas concentrations and, and values. So, um, so they also transmit data to our visualization platform, uh, which communicates with Sniffer 4D through 4G or, or other cellular network. So you will see all the real-time readings from here, as well as the mapping of the gas cut distribution. Um, so you can choose up to nine parameters that you want to map. So everything will show up. So the, the redder the color, that means the higher the concentration. The green the color, the greener the color, um, lower the concentration. And you can, we, we also offer different types of visualization tools. So let's go into 3D. So you actually, you will actually be able to see um, the gas concentration at different altitudes. We are from Soarability Technology, so you can find us um, at www.soarability.tech for more information. Thank you. My name is Joshua and I'm from Valorius. And today we have two products to show you. First is our V-Line. V-Line is a tethered Mavic. And this tethered Mavic has 60 meters of cable. And uh, with 60 meters of cable, we can fly for long periods of time to allow the drone to do surveillance, monitoring, as well as um, crowd control. And it's a very simple system that with, with this uh, module here, which converts a wireless Mavic into a tethered Mavic in just under five seconds, which shows the system's uh, current status, as well as the battery status. And we have a mobile app to allow the user to use this system from a distance. And our other product is a fast charger for TB55. This uh, fast charger can charge TB55s under one hour. And this is a modification of the original DJI TB50 fast charger, allowing uh, M200 V2 users to have a fast charger to speed up their charging process. And you can find us at www.valorius.com. All right guys, so I'm actually here at the DJI booth, of course, and this is the reason why we're here. We have a couple new products that they release. Of course, this is the Phantom 4 with the multi-spectral camera. I'm actually gonna have Michael uh, talk a little bit more in detail about this actual drone itself. Uh, it's not really a consumer type of drone, but if you are into agriculture, you wanna do mapping as far as land goes, uh, and you wanna be able to have those different spectrums as far as camera goes, all in one snap, this is exactly what it's made for. So it's definitely a really small niche market. It's not meant to just have you know multi-cameras for consumer types of use. But I'll definitely have Michael talk a little bit more about it, just a little bit more detail about exactly who it's made for and what it is geared to do. All right, I'm Michael Oldenburg uh, from the North America comms team here at DJI. We're uh, here at Airworks 2019, and one of the stars of the show this year is our new P4 multi-spectral drone, really targeted at the agriculture industry as well as folks who do land management. Um, what makes this drone so special is it's built on the iconic uh, Phantom airframe, uh, but the big difference here is the uh, multi-spectral sensor that we have. So this is the world's first uh, drone with a fully integrated multi-spectral camera. Um, we've got six uh, different sensors on here. Uh, one is a full uh, standard RGB camera, 
as well as individual uh, narrowband cameras for red, uh, blue, and green, as well as red edge and uh, near infrared. So uh, this drone allows uh, agronomists as well as just general farmers, people in the agriculture profession um, and land management to seamlessly fly over a plot of land and get some really interesting insights uh, from the vegetation, water, soil composition, things like that that are happening on that land. So one of the other special features about this drone, actually two things here up on the top, you'll see this sunlight sensor. So this helps you get accurate data no matter what time of day you're flying your mission, whether you're getting morning sun or afternoon sun. Um, there's also a built-in real-time kinematic sensor, or RTK, and we use that uh, for precision level accuracy. So if you're uh, not just doing a quick overflight of a farm and you really want to be able to look down and see you know, individual health of specific plants, uh, using an R our RTK system um, or a third-party RTK base station, uh, you can get much more uh, accurate results. Sure, so another uh, really exciting announcement uh, here at Airworks 2019 is the uh, newest export product. And this goes as targeted really at our uh, hardware developers, a part of our ecosystem that are using our payload software development kit. Uh, one of the things that we noticed uh, over the past year, since year and a half since we released the PSDK, was that a lot of developers were spending their time building the gimbal technology itself. And so what Export does is it simplifies that whole process. Uh, we've built a standard gimbal port uh, that any hardware developer can use and plug into. And the estimate is that this reduces anywhere from 40 to 60% of the development time in, in terms of bringing a custom payload solution to the Matrice 200 series drones. So those are just some of the highlights from DJI here at Airworks 2019. If you want to learn more about uh, all the amazing content and sessions, just go to airworks2019.com. So that's about it from Airworks. I wasn't actually able to talk to all the companies. There's a bunch here, uh, but my time is limited because I'm actually here on the last day, which is today, which is pretty much like a half day. Uh, so I wasn't able to talk to all the booths, but it was just good to see some of the ones that I did talk to. Those are the ones that I think that I was looking at as far as some of the products that they have to offer, which are really cool. I'll make sure all that information is linked down below so make sure you guys check out those companies if that's something you guys might be interested in checking out. But it was really nice just to see the actual P4 uh, multispectral camera in person and just hear exactly what it's meant to do. So really cool. And that's about it from Airworks 2019. This is Alter Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.